Homogeneous versus heterogeneous mixtures. A homogeneous mixture is a mixture in which all of the parts or components are evenly distributed, distributed throughout the entire mixture. Ho the prefix homo is derived from the Greek word meaning the same. Right now we'll be looking at examples of homogeneous mixtures. So, for example, see here, this cup is filled with a homogeneous mixture. Every single particle and component is the same thing. They are all peanuts. There's nothing different in them. Our next example of a homogeneous mixture is a little trickier because it's made up of two different components. It's made up of sugar and it's also made up of water. However, when the two are mixed, the mixture will be homogeneous because the sugar will dissolve completely in the water, leaving us with a mixture that is the same all the way throughout. After stirring for a little while, here is our homogeneous salt, I mean sugar and water mixture. As you can see, you can't see the different components in it because the sugar dissolved completely. Now we'll take a look at heterogeneous mixtures. A heterogeneous mixture is a mixture in which the parts of the mixture are not well mixed and you can clearly distinguish the separate components or parts of it. The prefix hetero is derived from the Greek meaning other or different. Here are some examples of heterogeneous mixtures. Now we are looking at examples of heterogeneous mixtures. As you can see, right here I have a cup of trail mix. And in this trail mix, there are lots of different components that you can visibly see with your eye. There's raisins, almonds, and peanuts. Clearly, to the naked eye, all of these are different particles within the mixture. Another example of a homogeneous, a heterogeneous mixture is a mixture of oil and water. Although these are two liquids and seem like they'll combine really nicely into a homogeneous mixture, as you can see when they're mixed, they do not. The oil is lighter than the water, and even if you stir it, it will still rise to the top. As you can see, there are clearly two different parts in this mixture. There's the water on the bottom and the oil on the top, therefore making this a heterogeneous mixture. Now that we've done a brief overview of homogeneous versus heterogeneous mixtures, we'd like to you to try out some problems for yourself. This first example shows two beakers with different substances in it. Which of these mixtures is a heterogeneous mixture, A or B? Feel free to pause the video to give yourself time to answer the question. The answer is B. B is the heterogeneous mixture because you can see all of the different particles within the solution. Our next question is much trickier. It is, is the air we breathe an example of a homogeneous mixture or a heterogeneous mixture? Again, feel free to pause the video to give yourself a chance to answer this question. The air we breathe is a homogeneous mixture. This is because there are a lot of different particles in the air, but when we breathe it and look at it, you can't see any of the different particles, therefore making it homogeneous. I hope you enjoyed the video.